welcome to Asset Night. Um, like, during this few months, as of where I'm at, what's my journey? Then this is October, what's my lupus journey? A lot of you know I have um, lupus. I'm diagnosed, diagnosed with lupus. But I'm in a practicing of better healthy eating. And I'm getting off all those meds and different things that the doctors are um, having me on. I'm beginning to see what I'm beginning to read a lot. And I'm changing my um, food intake. I'm drinking a lot of water. I want to say like I drink 100 ounces of water a day. I drink 100 ounces of water a day to flush any <clears throat> antioxidants or different things that may be in my body to take um, healthy flow cells and all different things to get better living cells in my body. Um, helping with um, anti-inflammation, anti-inflammation, inflammation with the um, different things may be going on. So I've been reading on that a lot. I also, I'm going to come back on and start doing my videos more often than I have been. I've been just into a lot of different things. So I know I kind of drifted off, but I'm going to come back in and begin to um, do a lot of things. And it's been very interesting. I've been reading a lot of things about nutrients and the different foods. And a lot of foods that are hybrid foods are whether they actually the real natural food. So, like I said, I'm, I'm into a lot of more healthy eating of green, of vegetables. Also, um, I've been reading about um, comfrey a lot. Comfrey has a lot, it's um, known as the bone knitter. And it helps a lot with joint pain, aches and all that. So I purchased from Amazon, Amazon Prime, I'm a Prime user, yes I am, I purchased some comfrey, they were saying about um, the comfrey plant, and the things that it uses to help is very good, so I um, purchased the comfrey root, the comfrey root, and I actually, um, I have used it, I meant to have my bowl, I'll probably just turn the video in here and bring my bowl with me now. But to, um, and mix it up. It has a, a dark clay, a dark chocolate. Looks great. But when you begin to, let's see, right here. here we go. So I got this, um, actually at a good price. And, um, it was actually, um, the powdered comfort root. And it is organic. Like I said, I'm reading and going into a lot of that way. And I actually used it, and it works. It may be um, not good. I, I got a picture of it, so I'm gonna put some pictures. I'm gonna put a picture in, and such pictures into this video where I apply them onto my knees. But um, it actually um, I wrapped them and let it sit. And it, it actually relieved the pain and helped a lot. And um, the different things that it says the um, comfrey root has more nutrients actually than the comfrey leaves itself. Both of them are good. They're very good and helping. But the root has more nutrients and ingredients in it. So me, I was like, I want everything I could get. I need it all. So of course, I ordered the comfrey root. Now I put some on my shoulder. Two, because I was like I got a little ache or something. And when I went to sleep and I woke up, it was that pain, that little nidgy pain, it was gone. And I was like, hey, this worked. And it also took the pain, um, relieved some of the pain from my knees and those joints. So it did, um, it did, it did do do the job. And so I um made a second batch of it and it said um, the longer you wear it the more intense it works so I used it and I left it on like for three days and I remind you I said it has a looky um little look to it and it goes into this dark brown I just it goes into a dark brown look 
but it works and it does the job and it's relieved. So this is something that I'm going to be using a lot more of this comfy root until I get my surgery done and everything this helps. Anything with pain relief, um, to stop taking so many pain meds, um, different things like that. I am headed toward that direction. I also drank a tea. Um, it's from the Herbalistic store as well. So I drink a, a anti-inflammatory tea. Just a lot of healthier things. I'm looking to a lot of herbal and a lot of healthy things to help me um, in time so I can get off some of the medicines, like I said. But this herbal, like I said, I'm going to put some pictures in this um, other comfy root where I put it on my knee. So it was, um, like I said, it is very good. And um, if you want to try it, if you're looking into it on different things, it helps um, with swelling, the swelling of the joint. It even took the relief out of that. I noticed right maybe where my um, knee on my leg, it wasn't it wasn't swollen. The inflammation, and I'm like, hey, that works. And I wrapped it in some saran wrap. I wrapped my knee in some um, saran wrap, and I let it sit. I let it form like a paste. Once I put it on my leg, I just sat still, and I used it right before I went to bed, so I was able to sleep in. And like I said, I wrapped my knee in it and just let it sit and when I woke up in the morning and on my shoulder I did have signs of relief the pain so I said this this is a keeper this does work so I'm adding that to my list with my um, black seed oil I still use my black seed oil I take that and it does help you can see of like um with my skin like some people who are diagnosed it's fixed each and every one different. They have like a butterfly rash on their face. But I thank God that that hasn't occurred with me. Um, I take that black seed every day. I take a tablespoon in the morning and a tablespoon at night. And I had slacked off of that a little bit also and was just taking it once and was taking the pill. But I was like, let me get back on my regimen and start all my different things. Like I said, I had been into some other little things and doing things, been busy. And I was like, let me take care of me. Because you gotta love yourself. You gotta love yourself, you gotta take care of yourself. So I just been sitting home and people like, you wanna do this, you wanna go this? And I was like, no, I'm gonna stay in today because I'm doing a lot of reading, trying to catch up on some things and get some things down and reading that written down better choices of better, just knowing better things and what to do and to intake and to put it into my body so that I can have a long life. Like I said, I got this little lady that I um, be with at times and she's 95 years old. She doesn't have Alzheimer's. She remembers everything. <laughs> she be called out and her favorite actor. She like is Will Smith. That's her favorite little actor. She say she think he's real nice and a little humble little guy. She said I like him. She remember his name. I was like, how do you remember the man name? But uh, she said she was always watching the show Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So they had been showing him a lot. And she, she liked him. But I'm going to be talking to her some. Because like I said, she's 95. She's still kicking it. She got it all together. And I said, I want to be like you. No dementia at all. So um, like I said, you can reprogram the things that you put in your body. Um, you can have healing foods. So actually that's what I'm into, a lot of healing food and stuff that will be healing and to help my body. And also I ordered, um, I got this another one stuff I ordered because I have a wound. So I'm going to be talking about the wound, um, a wound also I had. I was almost healed with the wound and I put a pain patch on it, just knocked it back. My fault totally, but um, I'm going to... Um, I ordered, I ordered, well, I had a young lady, I think I'll make that another video, and she, her mom had passed away, and she seen the route, the bandage around my leg, and she was like, you got a wound, and I was like, yeah, and she just began to talk to me, and talk to me, and she was like, oh, she was just going, I was like, yeah, she just smiled, because I had to just keep quiet, because she said she knew, she 
was real good. And I told her I went to a million dollars and all those different things. And she was telling me all kind of stuff. So I'm going to make that another video where I talk about the wound. But I said I'm coming back and I'm going to start doing my videos. And just talk about the spirit the same. Because this is a journey of lupus being diagnosed with lupus. But it's our intake and how, get, um, how I handle things after being diagnosed with something. I don't let that take over my life. You have to continue to live. You can't let that depress you. You have to keep fighting and adjusting to still move forward after being diagnosed with something that that just that really um, came in like a hurricane. <laughs> but I know um, once I get the little surgery did, I'm declaring I know I'm going to be back to normal. So, like I said, I'm coming back with a video, so I will be back. And this is um, it for today. Just wanted to come in like you gotta make some kind of start. You gotta come in and talk about. You gotta start stuff like you know what. You gotta do what you gotta do. So um, how I used to say, it, love and hugs always straight from the heart. Take care. Till tomorrow or till my next video. I see you guys later. Bye.